Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with UiPath. In this video, we will see how to automate two-factor authentication. So basically, we will generate the one-time password using secret key using Google Authentication Authenticator. Yeah, for this video demonstration, I have I am using it this particular application. I will just log in into it and I will show you from where we can you can generate the secret key uh, OTP I have already configured the secret key in my mobile uh, basically you have to install Google Authenticator app in your mobile from Play Store and so good you have to go to the profile and then here in security section they have basically provided all the instruction how to enable the two-factor authentication uh, authentication uh, now uh, i have already enabled this two-factor authenticator uh, hence it is showing me as a disable because uh, i have already enabled it uh, if it is not enabled then it will showing is enable two-factor authentication and there is a steps mentioned you have to follow the steps and you can enable it yeah so uh, this is what the steps for this particular application i will just close it out and let me just open my workflow yeah so workflow is, is very simple like we have been basically automate the login window i have just opened the browser and then there is a user id password using type into activity i have basically provided that and then click on login button and here basically i have used get google token so get google token activity basically uh, and in get google token activity i have provided the secret key whatever secret key basically provided in that particular application the same secret key have been used so what happened here get google token activity uh, basically hit to the send to the request to the google authenticator server using secret key and it will fetch the token id so using that token we will provide a token which is six digit and then we will proceed further yeah so now from where get google token activity uh, we have i have basically downloaded it so if you google it to factor authenticator UI path connect here you will able to see the link and here in connect.uipath.com there is an activity available to factor authenticator you can download it once you sign once you login into this here there is an option available to log to yeah so here you can able to see download so you can able to see the download you can download it or you can directly navigate to the manage package and you can search here for two factor authenticator so you can try to search it out otherwise you can download and install in this case i have already installed uh, you can able to see you can able to see uh, the two step authentication okay two step in project dependency you can able to see here you have a two step authentication so instead of yeah so if you search two-step authentication then the activity you can able to see this activity yeah i will close this 
and once you added this package then you were able to see uipath teams and under that two step authentication is there and here google get google token get microsoft token and get okta token so these three activity is are there so i have used google authenticator because uh, i'm i'm using it uh, for that particular application <coughs> So this is a very simple workflow that uh, is there. You just we have to provide the user ID password, then click on login, then another uh, uh, input box appear, which is for the second OTP, and then next step. Let me just execute this. So this and here provided the user ID password. and here second otp you can able to see that, uh, the second otp enter and it is the we are able to basically log into this application so so in this way basically you can automate the two-step authentication wherever the google authentication uh, authentication comes in the picture yeah, so this is what a simple demonstration about this two-step authenticator. Yes, there are many ways uh, for or many different types of two-step authenticator. This is one of the way that uh, is there using Google Authenticator. So yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.